I'm Pastor George Barkhart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The shortest video verse in the Bible and why it happened. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app. It's available on all the platforms. Donate your tax-deductible gift to higherthings.org slash giving helps us keep the ears of our uh, of the of the youth filled with the gospel. And they need this gospel in these dark times. Shortest verse of the Bible occurs, or one of the shortest verses in the Bible, occurs in John 11, very famous verse. All the confirmands want to memorize it. And Jesus wept. This occurs at the tomb of Lazarus, or, or near the tomb of Lazarus, right up, maybe right outside the tomb of Lazarus. No, nope, no, nope, right before the tomb of Lazarus. So this occurs, and why does it happen? Um, the context is key to understanding why Jesus weeps. He knows he's going to raise Lazarus from the dead. That already was very clear from the uh, beginning of chapter tw uh, 11, where he said, Lazarus sleeps and I go to wake him. He knows that Lazarus is dead at that point because the apostles are like, well, if he's asleep, then that'll be good for him. He'll get better. Uh, no, he's dead. And we go to wake him. And he arrives there to Martha, dear Martha, who meets him outside of town to miles from Jerusalem. He's two miles. He's in Bethany, two miles from Jerusalem, two miles from his death, two miles from Calvary, two miles from Good Friday. And she says, Lord, if you'd have just been here, if you'd have just been here, then my brother wouldn't have died. But even now, I believe that whatever God will ask for you, ask, whatever you ask God, he'll answer. And Jesus says, your brother will rise. And she says, yeah, 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 he'll raise at the resurrection. No, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me, even though he dies, yet shall he live. And the one who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? And she says, yes, I believe you are the Christ who has come from God into the world, the Son of God. Now, he goes a little bit further, closer to town, and Mary, the sister of Martha and the sister of Lazarus, is there in the house. When Martha comes back and says, the teacher's asking for you, Mary gets up and goes to meet Jesus. Along with her comes all the professional mourn, uh, mourners. In the ancient world, there were mourners, and they, uh, it, was a, it was big business. So being close to Jerusalem, there were a lot of friends of Lazarus who came down, and if they didn't have enough, they could always hire some mourners. So Mary gets up and goes. The mourners follow her out to the end of the town where Jesus is. And Mary repeats it. If you'd have just gotten here, Jesus, my brother wouldn't have died. And this is key. Don't miss this. He sees her weeping, the Jews who were with her weeping, and he was deeply moved in his spirit and troubled. Why? Martha doesn't get it. Mary doesn't get it. The mourners don't get it. Thor, he gets it. He's giving you an eye. You see, none of them believe that he's going to raise him from the dead. And that's why Jesus is there. He's there to raise Lazarus from the dead. He's there to raise you from the dead. And no one believes he's going to do it. And everybody's crying as if there isn't hope because they're living in a reality where dead people stay dead and they don't come back from the dead. Where have you laid him? 
Come and see. And then he wins. And the Jews, they comment, see how he loved him. But they also say the same sort of thing. Could not the guy who opened the eyes of the blind man in the last chapter also kept this man from dying? They don't get it. And so still, highly charged emotionally, Jesus arrives at the tomb. There's a stone there, a cave. Hmm, sounds familiar. And he says to Martha, he says actually, take away the stone. And Martha, oh, he'll come back on the last day, Lord. Martha, I believe you're the son of God, Martha. I believe you're the Christ come into the world. Stops him. He stinketh, Lord. It's been four days. I mean, did I not tell you that if you believed, you'd see the glory of God? And yet she doesn't, and yet he does it anyway. You see, the Lord weeps over death. He weeps over the unbelief. He weeps over the despair. He weeps because he's human. He weeps because no one gets it. He weeps because Lazarus is dead, but he knows he's going to raise him from the dead. So that's not the reason why he's weeping. Or not the only reason. The reason why he's weeping is that we just don't get it. We just don't get it. We just don't get it. This happens so you would believe that Jesus is the Christ and believing have life in his name. That you would believe that he has power over death and hell and Satan and that he's going to give you life eternal. Shortest verse in the Bible. We hit this in Bible class. Bible class every single solitary day. Information on the time will either be in the description. It's available on our Facebook page and YouTube. Join us. I'm Pastor George Barkhart. And if you have a better idea of why Jesus wept, go ahead and put it in the comments and I'll answer maybe out of nowhere. And this has been another Higher Things video short.